Today's trip down the turnpike is brought to you by Drizzly, your online liquor store. Available in over 95 cities across North America, Drizzly offers a huge selection and competitive pricing with a side of personalized content. Now there's no need to leave the house. Get alcohol delivered in less than an hour by Drizzly. Head on over to drizzly.com and order today. And now get $5 off your first order of $20 or more when using promo code DRINK19 at checkout. Shop beer, wine, and liquor with drizzly.com. Welcome to Turnpike Sports. I'm Dave Weishuttle, and as always, I'm joined by my producer and co-host, Doug Weishuttle. Doug, busy, busy world of sports this week. Lots of interesting things happening, good developments in yeah, terms so. of the sports betting industry. A lot of other things happen. Esports industry, we got a whole bunch of updates to get to, especially, uh, you know, want to, uh, you know, you know, jump right into all this stuff. Uh, we got a great interview coming up as well. Absolutely. I'm going to be talking with Lynn Gill Martin from the World Poker Tour, and she's involved in something amazing. She's involved with Tiger's Poker Night, presented by the World Poker Tour and hosted by Tiger Woods. And that's being held May 24th at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. So uh, a don't lot of forget, great stuff don't there. forget, Masters Champion. Yes, 2019 Masters Champion. Do, uh, do you, I don't know if you uh, saw this, and I don't know if we have a story on the rundown. The guy betting, <laughs> the guy doing another bet on Tiger. Yeah, I know. That was in. We could talk about it right now, as a matter no, of fact. No, no, no. no, no, no it's, let's, it's, uh, let's get into the uh, like the rundown. And it's been a uh, busy week, and uh, let's take a ride on the turnpike. And today's trip down the turnpike is brought to you by Drizzly, your online liquor store. Available in over 95 cities across North America, Drizzly offers a huge selection and competitive pricing with a side of personalized content. Now there's no need to leave the house. Get alcohol delivered in less than an hour by Drizzly. Head on over to drizzly.com and order today. And now get $5 off your first order of $20 or more when using promo code DRINK19 at checkout. Shop beer, wine, and liquor with drizzly.com. Exit 1. Well, since you teased it. I teased it, yep. Might as well talk about it. We have a brand new bet by the same better on Tiger Woods. He has a lot of faith in this guy, James Aducci. Aducci, yeah, from Wisconsin, right? That's correct. Yeah, no. That's For, correct. Well, initially he bet that Tiger would win the 2019 Masters. Would he put $85,000 on it? That's correct. And it netted him, was it 1.2? That's right. Okay, now now he's back at it again. <laughs> Yeah, he uh, did a bet of uh, how much was it? It was a hundred thousand dollars that he uh, Tiger would win the Grand Slam, which is uh, the, the the bunch of uh, you know different. It's more than one uh, golf it's tournament. The, it's the three majors. Yeah, yeah. So uh, <laughs> he's already won one. He may be able to get the next two. But, Maybe. Uh, yeah. Well, we'll see. But that's that's really a long shot. But you know, if it if his hundred thousand bet, a hundred thousand dollar bet, if that pays off, it's a ten million dollar payoff. Ten million dollars. Boy, I, you know, after he won that Masters uh, bet, I didn't know if he was going to continue doing what he's doing, well, look, but he's, he's continuing. He's playing with house money. So yeah, might as well just keep going. Might as well try it out. Well, good luck to him. Good luck. <laughs> um, going to Tiger Woods to the TV side. We had a couple of new t- TV deals announced. Yeah, lots of TV deals. Now betting is becoming well, well, more fashionable and more mainstream. So You knew I this guess. was going to happen. Sure. Everyone predicted this. Sure. So. Uh, we'll start with Fox. Fox Sports and the Stars Group have entered into a 25-year partnership to create what they're calling Fox Bet. Okay. I find it really interesting that the Stars Group is going all in on this because they dumped Bet Stars and they're going with Fox Bet. Okay. Everything they had that was Bet Stars, Bet Stars, Bet Stars, which was their sports betting platform, is now going to be Fox Bet. What they're doing is they're going to initially create a uh, a free-to-play game. For the entire country. 
Sure, sure. It's basically a sports betting game that has. What do they no call it? Predictive. Predictive gaming. That predictive sort of stuff, gaming. But, uh, I hate that word. Predictive. Well, you gaming. know what? It's free to play. Free to play. I like saying it that way. Free yeah. to play. And they're all. And for states that do have legalized sports betting, they're going to have a real money wagering platform. So I'm assuming the free to play game is just going to be like the social version of their real money platform. And whatever states start ha- having sports betting, mobile sports betting, online sports betting, they're going to be ready to launch in all those states when it happens. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised they're waiting for. Well, the fall's not that far away. A couple Football. of months. Yeah, Football. well, they're going to. But I'm, I'm surprised they're not having a soft opening, kind of for baseball. Football is king. Like the, July or August to well, get what? all the kinks out of it. They'll probably have a soft opening for exhibition season, preseason for football. <laughs> I'm, not, I, I think, I'm not betting on preseason well, football. Hey. <laughs> The, the two interesting things here, Fox Sports, at the 10-year anniversary of this deal, will have the right to acquire 50% equity of all of the Stars Group's U.S. operations. Yeah, by, by then, uh, probably all the states are going to have sports betting, I would think. Well, I'm just saying they're going to own half the company in the United States. Sure, sure. So they're going from a small percentage to uh, to, uh, to half ownership of everything the Stars Group does in the United States. So that's going to be all their platforms, too. Mm-hmm. It's not just sports betting. Uh, the other thing I thought was more interesting, I haven't seen too much about this. I, we all know FanDuel started with the broadcasting of low-level games yeah, well, for, their, for their betting platform. Well, well, let's tell people about that. On, um, for exa- I, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm sitting in New Jersey, and I'm part of the FanDuel um, mobile app, and um, they're starting Insight. to Insight. Insight, and they're starting to stream games. You know, soccer games, uh, tennis, tennis and, tennis and right German now. soccer. And you can bet on them while they're playing. They're streaming live on the platform. And one one of the reasons why they're doing these types of games is because they can't acquire the media rights that are with the major sports in the United States. I think this may change the playing field here. The Fox Sports deal right. might change because Fox Sports has major... Has already the, has, has has, the media has, rights. Has, has the all the media rights. rights. And I'm curious to see if... These games are going to be streaming on their, was the, it called Fox Bet now? Fox Bet. I, I think this is probably going to be sense. the way all this is going to go. It makes sense because the big thing now is in-game betting. Yeah. So uh, Live you know, in-game betting. Live in-game betting, and that's a big thing, and I think their Fox Sports is set up perfectly for it. Let's see what CBS and NBC do after this. Oh, yeah, I know. I mean, uh, or ESPN or well, something like CBS that. Let's see what the, happens. Fox is one, one league for football. CBS is another. NBC also has Sunday night games. Yeah, they have to do something. Yeah, exactly. So you're going to start seeing this happen with some of these other partnerships. You know, you got all those other different sports books out there. The other side of the coin is uh, Vegas Stats and Information Network, VEASAN. So that's it, it, I, I want to be correct when I pronu- pronounce this. I don't I don't say out the whole V S I N. It's VEASAN. I say VEASAN. I you okay. could say I think they say VEASAN too because I listen to them all the time. I watch them and you know. I, I hear I hear two ways, yeah. Vizen and Vsin. Well, however you say it, Brent Musburger's outfit. How's that? Is that easier to say? It's very good. Very a lot of information. Um, it's like one of those things you have to listen to. They started doing um, broadcasts on the East Coast before football, right? And uh, that was great. That I came listened from to the Ocean Casino. Yeah, I, I, I listen to it all the time before because you know information is great. If, if you're if you're in a betting state or if you're interested in sports betting. You, you you crave that information, and uh, that's one of those great groups that really give you a lot of information. Well, what they're doing, they have partnered with Anthem Sports and Entertainment. Anthem was the creator, founder of what was called the Fantasy uh, Network, F-N-T-S-Y. Okay, yeah, sure. Uh, very good network, by the way. It's very good. Digital too. network. Um, what they have done, Anthem has changed the name to Game Plus. And VEASAN and Anthem are going to be broadcasting the VEASAN sports betting show, a numbers game, every weekday morning from 9 to 11 a.m. Eastern time, wherever it is on your coast, you you can find it. It's going to be in the United States and Canada. It's the first international deal of its kind. Great. great. I mean, will this... I, I don't know where they're going to be broadcast. Is this like on a basic cable kind of thing, or is this uh, direct TV? Is it... I, I know, I think... I think I saw something on my, what do you call it, over the top? OTT. OTT, you know, the Roku or the... Uh, well, you'll, you'll the see it on smart TV. Amazon you'll, Fire thing. I, I think they also have something in place with one of the, the satellite networks, Dish or whatever the other one is. Uh, 
but you you know you'll be able to find Game Plus pretty much anywhere you want to watch it. Great, you can always subscribe to it online too. Yep. Um, Indiana passed sports betting finally. Congratulations, There's, Indiana! Yes, they are the tenth state, second one in, in this year to do it, but they're the tenth state. I got to tell you, I'm, I, that's the second state this year, like you said. Montana was the first. Right. Indiana is the second. Two states. I, I was thinking Indiana probably. I, Montana came out of the blue, but I, I'm, I'm like waiting for the other states. I'm waiting for Illinois. I'm waiting for I'm Connecticut. Waiting for, I'm waiting for these big, uh, big sports casino states. I'm waiting you know? for two big states, Ohio and Florida. I want to see when they happen. I don't think Florida is going to happen anytime soon. Probably not. California may never happen. I don't know. Ohio looks like it may be moving forward. but uh, New York is moving at a snail's pace. Tennessee may come in with their mobile betting. Bill. Alabama, someone said Alabama. I don't know. There, Who knows? There's, plen- there's plenty of states coming down the road. Let's see how Can fast they Can you bet move. on the next state to have sports betting? <laughs> is, that, is that a possible? Do uh, sportsbook have odds on different states well, offering sports betting? I, I'm, I'm sure the overseas books are. Oh, yeah. Boy. The offshore sure books are probably Would, I, cashing I think, in on some of this. I'm thinking Illinois. If 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 I find a sports book that has odds on which state will um, enact sports betting, I'm thinking Illinois. I'd put well, money on Illinois. We'll see who the next one is. But Indiana will not be allowing wagering on esports or amateur athletes under the age of 18. Okay. So that that's a so? little interesting wrinkle for that. Um, no, there's there's going to be limits on. Uh, the limits on in-play betting and restrictions on where your data is coming from is going to be left to the discretion of the Gaming Commission right now. They haven't they haven't promulgated some of these rules and regulations yet. Okay, so we're, we're all we're still in the infancy stages. So even though they made it legal, I mean, can people bet now in Indiana or not yet? I mean, not they yet. they not still yet. have to work out the, uh, the was it uh, dot the i's and cross the t's, something like that, if you want to call it that. And last but not least, Atlantic City's in the news again with two new sports books coming. Yeah, I can't wait. One can't may wait. be coming at the end of this week, as a matter of fact. Mid May is the Sure, that that one's Harris in the Marina. Not Har- on the boardwalk, Har- but in the Marina. Harris Atlantic City. It's going to be next to their poker room. Okay. Thirty eight hundred square feet. It's going to have two fan caves, which you know is That's all a the big rage. thing nowadays. I, yeah, I guess it's for private parties yeah, and I things guess so. like that. I think people like that. Seating yeah. up to ten people in each of the fan caves. Okay. Uh, but the big news is what's going on with Bally's Wild West. Which is on the boardwalk. On the boardwalk. And it's actually centrally located on the boardwalk, yeah, too. It's, yeah. be- it's between everything. It's- I-, I have a special uh, feeling for Bally's. That's where I saw the my beloved Philadelphia Eagles win the Super Bowl. So uh, I- I'll-, I'll-, I'll always go to Bally's. Ba- Bally's is always <laughs> a fun place. It's going to be even better now. They're going to have what they're claiming will be the biggest or largest Sports book in Atlantic City. Which, I mean, right now the largest sports book is Ocean Casino. Is Ocean Casino and Bally's is going to double the size of that, which I, is I amazing. St- I still want to say Ocean Resort. <laughs> what is it called now? It's Ocean Casino Resort. Ocean Casino Resort yeah. instead of Ocean, Ocean Resort, Resort Casino. Casino. That was the old way of saying yeah. it. They just flipped the words. They around. rebranded, and now re-branded. they're making money. Could the rebrand help? Wow, I don't hey, know. who knows? But, uh, yeah, they're going to have uh, five fan caves. With gaming consoles and foosball tables in the caves. Nice. Uh, and this is the interesting thing. And uh, I find it f- a fascinating that th- that they're going to be able to do this with the DGE being, so, Division of Gaming Enforcement being so strict with a lot of these things. I think I know where you're going with this. They're going to have the beer yourself beer wall. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I just heard... It's a self-service I'm beer wall. I'm curious to see that, how that works. It seems to be working at the link in Las Vegas for Caesars. Okay, well, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, yeah, how do you pay for it? Or is it, uh, is it free beer? Is it, it, uh, it's, is it because it's, an, uh, they give you free drinks if you're gambling? So does this mean if you, if, if you, are they going to do it like uh, Borgata when you place a bet, they give you a drink ticket? They may do all of that stuff. But, I hope so. But the situation is it's self service, not self paying. You're going to have a cashier there. There has to be. Yeah, I guess so. I, I, yeah. I guess it's going to be like a cafeteria kind of thing. Or yeah. Are they going to have Br- to bring up your tray? Bring up your tray of beer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. basically. So, but uh, I can't wait to try it. It exists in Vegas. It's doing well there. It's at the link. They have twenty something beers on tap there. This one will only be sixteen. Only sixteen. Only That's sixteen. Crazy. Only sixteen craft beers on tap. Oh. So, uh, if you love craft beer, that may be the place to hang out in uh, Lang City coming soon. That's in mid June. Yeah, I can't wait. Exit two. Going over to the esports industry. 
We had two uh, interesting things happen over uh, the last week here. Houston was the home was home to the first ever collegiate esports championship this past weekend. Really, first ever? First ever. I mean, we've had a lot of people on for esports regarding collegiate. Colli- is, well, we, there there was a guy coming on for collegiate. There was never anything like this. Not put, a championship, huh? Put on by ESPN. Wow. Okay. That's uh, big. Yeah, it was uh, 22 qualifying teams from 20 different schools and universities around Canada and the United States. Video games being played were Overwatch, Street Fighter V, Arcade Edition. I guess that, there's a distinction there. I don't know too much about Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. Hearthstone, StarCraft II, Heroes of the Storm. And the matches were played this in, this past weekend, May 10th to the 12th, at the George R. Brown Convention Center, which was in downtown Houston. Wow. Uh, they made it. They did it in in conjunction with the city's annual Comic Palooza, so they had a lot of sci fi and fantasy people there. Which I, I guess there'd be a lot of overlap. There, there might be there an might overlap, be overlap yeah. with that, or you know, for uh, for their fans. Yep, yeah. and uh, you know, they had people from Star Trek, Game of Thrones there, all oh, that great. stuff. So <laughs> that was smart to do it that way. Uh, Teams, uh, had, the schools were ranged from UNLV, UC Berkeley. There were a lot of uh, Technical schools, mm-hmm. uh, Rutgers and NJIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology, had two t- two teams each in this. So, uh, you, since they both have two teams each, th- these aren't are these officially represented by the colleges? Are they officially sanctioned by the colleges, yeah. or are they? Oh, They're okay. the official teams of the colleges. They may play different different games. Oh, okay. So one team played one game. I thought you meant two teams from Rutgers were playing the same. Okay, no. I see what you're talking. Okay, and and also which was, which was interesting, no Texas schools made the championships. Oh, so this was like a bracket thing. Yeah, that you move on, huh? Exactly. Okay. This has been going on all year to this final weekend championship. Oh, Texas got to step it up, man, because yeah. they were in Houston doing it. Yeah, and they have one of the <laughs> one of the brand new sport esports arenas being built. Yeah, no, esports is huge in Texas. I can't yeah. believe uh, no Texas schools made it. And this was streamed online at Twitch tv slash espn esports espn has their own twitch channel boy it's all twitch huh well it's all streaming so okay i'm i'm official i i I have to start watching twitch and no money prizes it was all scholarships oh good well hey that that's valuable too yep the other side of the coin we just talked collegiate now we're going to talk some pro sport esports here kit kat now is going to be sponsoring the overwatch league franchise in los angeles KitKat's done a few things here and there in the past for esports. This is their first ever team sponsorship. You know, you, you're you're mentioning collegiate first, then professional. Is there like this big draft? You know, I know we just went through the draft for uh, the NBA. I, I'm I'm curious if we're going to see a draft for esports in the future. Well, just last month, the NBA 2K for their new season did a draft. Oh, okay. And remember they I, we we covered the story. They had the first female drafted. Wow, okay. So That's they right. do have drafts for this stuff. But Kit Kat is now the official candy of the Los Angeles Valiant, which is the Overwatch League franchise in Los Angeles. They're gonna have they're gonna have the, the title partnership for the Kit Kat Rivalry Rivalry Weekend. Boy, wow. I can't say that. Uh which is gonna take place August twenty fourth to the twenty fifth at LA Live, which is where the uh the Galaxy, the soccer team play. Wow, that's a big arena. Yep. <laughs> Good for Kit Kat. They're, Kit they're Kat. going to be uh, they're going to branded activations and uh, events alongside the matches that are going over there. They're going to have the, the Kit Kat Fan Fest. Uh, they're going to have uh, events going on outside the arena, inside the arena. They're going to have the Kit Kat lounges set up, and they're going to be uh, set up for different for the different teams. And fans of the different teams can go into the Kit Kat lounges set up for your team to watch the events. I got to tell you, you know. East Coast has to get involved more with this stuff because I'm dying to see one of these things. I'm I'm in the East Coast. You think the the big population and a lot of colleges, a lot of you know, men and women are playing esports in the East. You know, I, I wish there was something big in the East so people can. I mean, a lot of them are in Texas, a lot of them are in Vegas. Where where's this one in Lo- Los Angeles? That one will be in Los Angeles. Yeah. But not to throw the degenerate side out in this, but when sports betting gets involved with esports, <laughs> you're going to see a lot more growth, I think. 
More so than what you're seeing with some of these sponsors. I want to see some in Madison Square Garden. That's what I want to see. Get, get me to a Madison Square Garden eSports event, and I'll, I'm, I'm hitting that. I'm just glad to see mainstream sponsors. You have Bud Light Absolutely. doing one. Now you have Kit Kat. Kit Kat, yeah. You're have a whole bunch of things. The more mainstream sponsors get involved with this sport, the more it's going to grow. Exit 3. We're going to have more combat sports on TV soon. Hmm. Now, combat sports, they're not using guns. Yeah, they're, it's they're... wrestling, MMA, that sort of stuff. Now, remember last year we had all these huge deals going on between uh, WWE and ESPN? Yeah. Or NBC, I should say. Um, WWE, last year, their show Raw got $1.36 billion in rights fees from NBC. Wow. Oh. SmackDown Live got $1 billion from Fox. Mm-hmm. UFC did that $750 million deal with ESPN+. Plus. Yep. The, the Zone picked up Bellator for nine figures. And this other MMA championship, one championship, the terms weren't disclosed, but Turner Sports slash Bleacher Report picked them up for hmm. broadcasting rights. So there was a huge glut on the market of, uh, I guess, payment of rights fees and growth for these uh, combat sports. And we're going. it seems to be continuing because we're going to get another one in 2019 with this new league that formed, the All Elite Wrestling League. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Where the, it's, you know, there's is this when I was growing up, I I, re, I remember watching Georgia Championship Wrestling, which was great. I mean, is that gone now, or that was bought, or what? Gone, what gone, gone. Ah, uh, I miss that. Well, if I remember correctly, Georgia Championship Wrestling somehow had some kind of relationship with I don't Turner know. started with the WCW. Yeah, the maybe World it was Championship Turner. Wrestling. Yeah, I think it was. So, But Turner is doing this, All Elite Wrestling. They uh, they did a TV deal. They're going to be airing this league to over 90 million households. Mm-hmm. So this league is going to take a jump in viewership. They did something with WGN last year, and they only had a couple million viewers, but that was just because they were all on WGN. Now they're going to the Turner Sports Network, TNT. They're going to be all over the country. They've applied for trademarks such as Tuesday Night Dynamite. Okay. So you can imagine they're going to be on Tuesday nights. I guess Tuesday night they're looking for Tuesday Which is a good night for TV and uh, you yeah. know, and sports. It's well, great. Well, see, SmackDown Live is moving from that day to Friday nights on Fox. See, don't they, don't they call Friday night Death Valley for television? Not for wrestling. Really? Yeah, yeah, I mean, traditionally, if your if your show was on a Friday night, I mean, you didn't you didn't get the ratings it would get if it wasn't on Monday through Thursday. So I'm surprised they want to go to Friday. Well, I I think you're going to start seeing some stuff what what the WCW and WWE or WWF used to do back then. They used to have these Monday Night War kind of things where they were cross promoting their leagues. So you might start seeing some of this stuff because viewership for wrestling has gone down a bit. It's something like a uh, 25% decrease over the last couple of years of viewership on TV. Hmm. So uh, we'll see if this one does does good. I mean, it's supposedly it's got some big names in it. I'm not familiar with the names, I have to admit. Uh, Adam Hangman Page is one of the f- founders. Uh, the Young Bucks, uh, I, fr- I'm familiar with that name. Somewhat. I'm not familiar. Well, they're 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 on the uh, lesser circuits, but they are they are pretty uh, prominent crew to be involved. And we'll see if Turner can actually make something of this new league with this. Exit four. Okay, what do you do if you're one of the best teams in baseball and they're not drawing any crowds? I you have so. a you have a flash sale. I guess so. A five dollar home ticket flash sale by the Minnesota Twins. They were they were not doing well in attendance, even though the team was doing extremely well in terms of their record. They have uh, their top of their division, and they have one of the best uh, records in baseball right now. But they weren't drawing any crowds, so they had this idea of doing five dollar tickets for the rest of the home games, and in less than twenty four hours, they sold more than twenty thousand tickets. Oh, good for them. <laughs> they, they they had to include another block of tickets after the first 24 hours. They added another 1,000 thousand tickets to the deal. Uh, the first 20,000 were for the upper deck. Well, and yeah, I would, I would deal, guess so, yeah. You still got to deal with the cold weather and everything for the Twins with uh, the upper deck. But the other 1,000 tickets are standing room only, basically. You can get into the arena. You don't have a seat, though. Well, you know what? I, I'm... 
I, I want to see around the league. I wonder if this is a big problem around the league. I mean, the, the Twins are a very good team this year. They're just not packing them in. And, you know, I wonder if Major League Baseball has to take a closer look. I mean, I mean, they're handling it in-house right now, but maybe Major League Baseball should take a look at what the hell's going on. I mean, and check out the other teams, too, to see how they're doing with regard to attendance because they got to do something. Well, the one thing... I was thinking in terms of attendance, do you think the concession prices are having anything to do with it? You know, you lower the ticket prices is one thing. You're still charging a lot for some of these concessions. Well, look, I mean, I think the Twins, I mean, I'm I'm just going to focus on the Twins. They almost have to keep the concession prices up because, uh, you know, they're selling $5 tickets. You know, they got to make some money back. I'm sure they're going to have the dollar dog night sometime, like I know Philadelphia and New York does, but, you know. No, but this might be a bigger problem than just the Twins. It, it might be. Well, it might be a big problem for the Twins because they already announced all new ticket packages through for this year. I mean, they have 20 ticket flex plans already on sale. They have uh, plans for 10, 20, 40 games out of shot. They even have this thing called the Twins Pass, okay. which is, you know, I've seen uh, basketball teams do this. It's a monthly it's a monthly pass that you pay 50 bucks for or something like that and you get access to the stadium on game days you can't go see the game but all the concourses outside the where the games are taking place you have access to because you get a monthly pass huh so they're trying everything they still weren't getting the attendance into the ballpark so there may be something else that they're missing or maybe there's some kind of missing link here but uh i you know i think this is a good start trying stuff like this they may have to do something some kind of combination of ticket price and concession prices or yeah. something so uh- you, you you never know, but they they're trying. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, it might be a bigger problem than just the Twins for MLB. But I just want to remind everyone that today's trip down the turnpike was brought to you by Drizzly, your online liquor store. Available in over 95 cities across North America, Drizzly offers a huge selection and competitive pricing with a side of personalized content. Now there's no need to leave the house. Get alcohol delivered in less than an hour by Drizzly. Head on over to drizzly.com and order today. And now get $5 off your first order of 20 or more when using promo code DRINK19 at checkout. Shop beer, wine, and liquor with drizzly.com. You get in touch with us. Call or text us at 609-512-5910, 609-512-5910. Tur- at Turnpike Sports is our handle on both Facebook and Twitter. You want can reach us out there. Info at turnpikesportsradio.com is our email address to get in touch with us through email as well. You can catch the show on uh, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, and uh, Apple TV. Just head on over to TurnpikeSportsRadio.com, and you'll see the link there to catch the show on TV. You can subscribe to the show through iTunes. iHeartMedia carries the show as well, Stitcher Radio, YouTube. And don't forget to order your International Bikini Team calendars for the year. Info at InternationalBikiniTeam.org is the ordering inf- email for your ordering information. I just want to remind everyone that coming up after this break, I'm on be talking with Lynn Gill Martin from the World Poker Tour, and she's involved in something amazing: the Tigers Poker Night, presented by World Poker Tour and hosted by 2019 Masters Champion Tiger Woods. That's going to be held on May 24th at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. It's an amazing event. It's all for charity. It's such a great thing. And Lynn's going to come on, talk to us all about the World Poker Tour and Tigers Poker Night. Stick around. We'll be right back with more. Turnpike Sports. Hey, this is Dave Weishuttle from Turnpike Sports with this week's Bet Flash. Fox Sports and the Stars Group have announced a partnership to form a sports betting platform. The new entity will be called FoxBet and will offer real money betting for states that have legal sports betting and a nationwide free-to-play game for states where betting is not legal. FoxBet is slated to start in the fall in time for the NFL season. Indiana has become the 10th state to legalize sports betting. Last week, Governor Eric Holcomb signed the bill into law, which he hopes will spur positive economic growth in the state. Indiana is the second state this year to legalize sports betting following Montana, which legalized sports betting earlier this year. And finally, we all remember the Wisconsin man who won $1.2 million betting on Tiger Woods to win the Masters Tournament. Well, he's at it again. James Aducci placed a $100,000 bet that Woods will win the Grand Slam. If Woods does go on to win the Grand Slam, Aducci will cash a ticket worth $10 million. 
talk about a long shot. From the seaside to the desert, from the betting lines to the sites online, Turnpike Sports has got you covered. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Turnpike Sports. New Jersey's sports betting market has exploded, and there's so many places to bet it can make your head spin. But PointsBet.com is the one online sportsbook you can't afford to ignore. PointsBet.com has everything a person would want in a sportsbook. Spread betting, money line betting, prop bets, you name it, you'll find it at PointsBet. Daily promos that can't be beat, odds boosters you won't find anywhere else, early payout promos, it's all at PointsBet.com. You can bet from anywhere in New Jersey using your mobile device. And now there's even a better reason to sign up with PointsBet.com. Go to PointsBet.com and sign up using our promo code PIKE, that's P-I-K-E, and you'll get two risk-free bets up to a 1000 bucks. PointsBet is the preferred sportsbook of superstars Allen Iverson and Darrell Rivas. They even have the Rivas Betting Academy hosted by Darrell Rivas himself. So sign up today at PointsBet.com using our promo code PIKE and start having some real fun. That's promo code PIKE, P-I-K-E. PointsBet. Stay sharp. Must be 21 years or older and in New Jersey to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. How would you like your coffee delivered right to your door every month? Maybe two times a month. Well, now that can happen with Bean Genius. Bean Genius sells freshly roasted coffee from some of the best independent coffee roasters in the country at BeanGenius.com. And Bean Genius actually learns their customers' individual taste preferences, then suggests future coffee blends for them. Well, how do they do that? Well, this is the cool thing about Bean Genius. Over at BeanGenius.com, they use an algorithm which learns the coffee flavors you like and then pairs up what you like with the coffee that they have in stock. And it's all based upon you. Every time you order, the system learns. The system learns your preferences as you go along and order more and more coffee. And now, all our listeners at Turnpike Sports can get a special offer. You head on over to BeanGenius.com slash subscription, and you'll be able to get 10% off your purchase when you use our promo code PIKE, P-I-K-E, at checkout. That's 10% off at BeanGenius.com slash subscription with promo code PIKE, P-I-K-E. BeanGenius.com, the smart specialty coffee subscription service. I'll bet you 20 bucks I can get you gambling before the end of the day. No way. I'll give you 3 to 1 odds. No. Nope. 5 to 1. No. Nope. 10 to 1. You're on. Right. Welcome back to Turnpike Sport. You know, I'm really excited to talk to our next guest. Fans of poker certainly know her from Poker News and, of course, the World Poker Tour. And she's also involved in something really incredible. She'll be joining Phil Hellmuth and Tiger Woods for the 8th Annual Tigers Poker Night, which is presented by the World Poker Tour. Of course, I'm talking about the great Lynn Gilmartin. Lynn, thanks for joining us. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I, I got to tell you, Lynn, as a guy who interviews people and does a gaming news report, I'm a huge fan of yours. And like many, oh, that's nice. uh, it, it, you're absolutely great. And um, and like many people in the gambling world, I can't imagine the World Poker Tour without you. How did you get involved in the world of poker? That is so nice of you to say. Thank you. <laughs> um, I got involved actually when I was. I'm from Melbourne in Australia, and I was working at the casino in Melbourne. I was fresh out of college. It was my first you know, proper job. Um, I studied marketing, so I got this marketing gig at the casino and I I, um, I was working in table games and then I, that's where I discovered poker. I really knew nothing about it and then, you know, the poker room was always full and it was like just a younger, more energetic crowd compared to the rest of the casino and, I, and it just was like the fun department. So I eventually moved over there and I just loved it. Um, and I, I was working there for three years, and that's how I met the folks at Poker News because they would come out for our big events. And I started host. That was back when YouTube was kind of just new. Mm-hmm. Can you even remember a life before YouTube? <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> YouTube was new, <laughs> which is so hard to believe. And so we started a YouTube channel, and I started hosting videos and interviewing celebrities whenever they came into the room for our charity events. And that's kind of how it all began. You know, it's amazing. I, reading your bio, you actually won in 2015 the European Poker Tour Barcelona Women's Event. I, I mean, how did yes. you become, how, how did you become such a great poker player? Did interviewing help, uh, poker players help help your game? Because let me tell you something. I interview poker players, and none of their knowledge wears off on me. So I, I'm amazed at how you did that. <laughs> you know, the interviews. I'm, I'm sure there is like a, a passive education that happens through through them. Um, you know, especially just because usually the interviews are based about uh, are based on the the 
mentality, like how did you handle that? Like well, how do you come o- overcome that bad beat? Or because I did so many bust out interviews, so that probably helped me a lot mm. with dealing with the psychological aspect of it, being around these uh, pros all the time. Um, I just certainly don't think I have the capacity <laughs> to be able to handle it the way they do still. But there's that, and and my boyfriend, he's a he's a, an incredible poker player. He's he, he was a professional for for many years, um, and so he t- he teaches me a lot over the years. And I think just spending so much time in poker rooms and watching hands go down, and then watching the World Poker Tour, and I think it was just a passive. I, I really learned passively, uh, yeah, and I still am. <laughs> yeah, the the World Poker Tour and its televised coverage it has been just a huge success for so many years. Why do you think the tour and the television coverage has maintained its popularity over the years? You know, we really put the players first, and we really uh, work hard to just keep keep adapting to to what it is that the players want and what they need. And you know, uh, like. Uh, Matt Savage and Angelica Hale, they're like constantly doing research and talking to the players to see what it is that, that they, that they, they like and they dislike about our events and the tour and, and you know, that, that it just shows. And we always focus on, on making it a good time. It's not just going in for the grind. It's not just the business end of playing poker. It's, you know, we'll always have like player parties and other activities going on. Um, and, and, you know, just all of the, the diverse locations. So it's just a really amazing opportunity to see the world and play the game that you love. You know, since you started working at the World Poker Tour, how has the sport of poker changed, especially the media coverage of poker? How, how has that evolved over the years? It's becoming a lot more mainstream, which is really exciting. You know, I think it's becoming, it's just becoming bigger and it just keep, continues to grow. And uh, it's, what I really, the, the real standout change that I know, I've noticed since I first began was uh, so many players really consider the game, uh, it's, it's their sport, and, and they're, they're starting to view themselves as athletes of this sport and really respecting that it's a, it's a, it's a, whole, it's a whole thing that they need to do, like, just like an athlete, like take care of their body and, and, and you know, meditate and look after their mental health and, and not only just studying hardcore strategy, just looking at themselves as a whole. And I feel like that didn't so much exist when I first came in about 10, 12 years ago. Uh, it's really exciting now to see that there, there, there's, so, there's so many players that are so health conscious. You know, I'm glad you brought that up because one of the fascinating things I learned about you is that you're a certified holistic health coach. First off, what is a certified holistic health coach, and what are you doing to help steer the poker players in a more healthy lifestyle? Um, yeah, I I really was just I got so into nutrition uh, a few years ago, or a bit more than that now. It was back in my poker news days, and so I studied nutrition, uh, this online course, and you know I I I thought I wanted to go down the health coaching path, but I didn't end up doing that. I just sort of studied it just for, for myself and, and for my family, and I just really wanted to learn how to nourish myself. I mean, it was, once I discovered how important it is, the, 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 how important the food that we eat is to, to fuel our body and to, to function at our best, I just uh, I just became obsessed with it. So when I was studying that, I I started a, an online channel, uh, an online series on poker news called Stay Stacked, and I just loved interviewing health experts about how poker players can really elevate their game with other ways, not just strategy. You know, whether it's uh, a quick five-minute yoga session in their hotel room before going down to the casino, or what snacks to pack in their bag, like blueberries and almonds and stuff, rather than just reaching for the bag of crisps that's at the casino. Um, and yeah, it's just it, it, it's so it's so fascinating, and, and again, it's it just it's just an ever evolving uh, area to study, also. So I'm still always learning, and I love to share what I learn. Yeah, it makes me feel good. You know, you, I, I just did a story on uh, Antonio Esfandiari having a boxing match against Kevin Hart. So it seems like they're really getting in tune with the athletic side of uh, poker and really taking care of themselves. Do you find most of the top players are starting to take more of a healthy lifestyle in hopes of improving their game? Yeah, absolutely. These these boxing matches and these fights keep popping up, don't they? They're <laughs> the crazy. I, I, they they're they're nuts. <laughs> they're absolutely nuts. I would never do that. I could never do it either. But, you know, it makes sense. I mean, they've probably had years of, of tension at the table. <laughs> it's probably nice to get it, let it out in a ring. <laughs> 
I got to tell you, while speaking of top players, we're going to be able to watch a few when we're tuning into the World Poker Tour in May. I know the WPT Choctaw in Durant, Oklahoma is being held. Was it May 17th to the 20th? And the final tables of the WPT Seminole Hard Rock Poker Showdown and the WPT Choctaw will be held on May 30th and the 31st. Lynn, are these going to be televised on Fox Sports? And where are they going to be held? Yes, so they are. They'll be part of our, our regular programming on, on Fox Sport, and they are going to be held at our brand new home of the World Poker Tour in Las Vegas at the HyperX Esports Arena, which is just an amazing venue. It's it's just so exciting. So um, at the end of the month, it's going to, uh, you know, it's it's an esports arena, and at the end of the month, it retransforms again into into the, the little hub of poker or ginormous hub of, hub of poker I should say where they they pull out all the computers and they put in the big uh, the big poker table the big final table and it's just so impressive I, I, I love the space so I'm excited to get back there yeah I know the world poker tour is doing something really special in June as well with the 2019 Baccarat crystal WPT tournament of champions on June 1st through the 3rd. Can you tell us a little something about what we can expect from that tournament? Oh, there's going to be a big song and dance for sure. <laughs> the World Poker Tour always puts on a big show. And, you know, I'm often surprised when I get there. Like, they love to, to have surprises. You know, every year there's so many generous sponsors that get involved. Um, so the players get gifted a ton of things. And um, there's always a bit of a, a bit of a show beforehand. So uh, who knows what they've got planned up their, up their sleeves. But it's going to be it's going to be impressive. That's a really special event, that one. Oh, I, you know what? When Baccarat Crystal is involved, you know the trophy is going to be awesome. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and there's lots of fancy champagne flutes all over yeah, the place. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Now, i got to ask you, uh, one of the really incredible things that you and the World Poker Tour are involved with is P- Tiger's Poker Night presented by World Poker Tour, and it's hosted by the 2019 Masters Champion Tiger Woods, and I never thought I'd say that ever again, and it's great yeah. to say. Now, can you tell us a little something about that and when it's going to be and yeah. where it's going to be? Yeah, sure. So so every year we have it in Vegas. It's part of of Tiger Jam, which has been a long, long running uh, uh, charity event that the TGR Foundation is, I think it's been 21 years they've been running that. Wow. Um, and yeah, and this is the eighth year that a poker night has been associated with it. So it's an entire weekend where um, people can, you know, the, the participants, they go and they play, go play golf with Tiger. Um, and then there's a whole like, uh, there's a big sort of gala night with a, a private concert and, and a, and an auction, and then uh, on um, the next night is the the poker night, which is just so much fun. I mean, there's, there's probably usually about ten to fifteen tables, and it's just a really really fun night. Like, there's a ton of people there who aren't even playing. You don't even need to to play. You can just have a drink and stand around and, and watch. And there's a bunch of pros and celebrities, and and you get to see Tiger play poker. It's pretty cool. <laughs> now, are you going to be playing <laughs> poker at the tables too? I sure will. Yeah, I got to ask you. Now, you know, we watch these athletes or the non-poker related celebrities. You know, we see them on the field or the courts. You know, one of the great things we love about the athletes is, you know, they show so much emotion on the field or stuff like that. I mean, how are they at the poker table? I mean, if poker gets dealt pocket aces, does he raise his hands like in the final hole in the Masters? Because <laughs> cause if he did, it'd be really good for you if he did. But how are they at the uh, yeah. poker table? <laughs> Tiger actually has a really good poker face. I got to give him that. He okay. knows how to keep the, the straight face. Uh, he's a great player. I, I, I remember there's only one hand that I remember um, when I was playing next to him a, a few years ago, and uh, he played it so well. He had like pocket deuces, and, and he ended up rivering uh, quads. Ooh, and, wow. But he didn't let out, you know. So it was a big showdown at the end, and everyone was roaring. And yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> he knows how to play. <laughs> well, who are some of the other celebrities involved with the event? Uh, yeah, well, Kevin Pollack is coming. He's a regular on the poker circuit. Uh, Chris Harrison, Oliver Hudson. Then we've got, like, Scotty Wind, Daniel Negreanu, Phil Helmy, who's emceeing, as always. There's a, there's a bunch. And then there's always a ton that show up, too, that um, I didn't even know about beforehand. <laughs> they, <laughs> yeah. So how can people get involved with Tiger's Poker Night? Uh, if you go to uh, WPTFoundation.org, has all information about all the charity events that we run. Um, and and you can you can find out more information there, and and you can get the link to to register online. 
Lynn, we're running out of time, but how can people follow the World Poker Tour and also follow what you're doing in the future? I'm, I spend most of my time on Instagram. Okay. So you can follow me at Lynn Gilmartin on Instagram, and World Poker Tour also has uh, an Instagram account, which is at World Poker Tour, nice and easy. Uh, so we're always updating, you know, uh, on the go on those accounts, and uh, WPT.com is, is where all the info is. We've got blogs up there and our schedule for the TV broadcast and also for the actual tour if you want to come and play. So everything is on WPT.com. Lynn, thanks so much for coming on and letting us know what's going on in the World Poker Tour and telling us all about Tiger's Poker Night presented by the World Poker Tour. And please don't be a stranger to the show because we love having you on. Oh, it's an honor to be here. Thank you so much Thank for your time. You. Stick around. We'll be right back with more Turnpike Sports. you come here haven't you heard we don't need to hide anymore now we can shop privately for adult products at adamandeve.com they've got massage oils lingerie and lots more we can't mention here use offer code spice 404 they'll give you 50 percent off almost any one item three free dvds free mystery gift and free shipping that's 50 percent off free shipping and more private shopping starts at adamandeve.com We'll get back to Turnpike Sports in a minute, but I want to talk to you about New Jersey's newest and I think best sports book, PointsBet.com. That's right, PointsBet has it all. Spread betting, money line betting, prop bets, you name it, you'll find it at PointsBet. And you can bet from anywhere in New Jersey using your mobile device. It's the only place with points betting where every point matters because every point pays. Now, PointsBet has one of the best sign-up offers in the state. Go to PointsBet.com and sign up using our promo code PIKE. That's P-I-K-E, and you'll get a $50 bonus bet plus two risk-free bets up to 1000 bucks. It's the preferred sports book of Allen Iverson and Darrell Rivas. They even have the Rivas Betting Academy hosted by NFL great Darrell Rivas. So sign up today at pointsbet.com using our promo code PIKE and start having some real fun. That's promo code PIKE, P-I-K-E. Points bet, stay sharp. Must be 21 years or older and in New Jersey to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Welcome back to Turnpike Sports, where we're almost out of time, but I want to give a big thank you to Lynn Gilmartin from the World Poker Tour and telling us all about Tiger's Poker Night presented by the World Poker Tour and hosted by Tiger Woods being held on May 24th at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And also a special thank you to World Poker Tour for yes. helping set this up. They did thank a great you. job. I always enjoy working with them. Great information, great cause, great event, and also great poker lady. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And the World Poker Tour, boy, it's been around for so long, been so successful, and just such and, it's just an amazing – it's such an amazing entity in the world of poker. And it expanded with the World Poker Tour with their eSports section, too, now, especially uh, – you know, they're expanding. They're expanding their programming. They're expanding their reach in terms of different industries as well. Well, well like when Lynn was saying, they're having some final tables at an esports arena. Well, so it's, 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 really their, it's their home. Yeah. It's, it's just. It's, the, the Luxor esports arena is their home. Yeah. So the right. Hyper X, I should say. That's the, Hyper the, Hyper, X. the Luxor Hyper X esports arena. They have all, all their events there as well. A lot of final tables are being held there. Well, thanks to Lynn Gilmartin and the World Poker Tour. Always great having them on. Well, that'll do it for us. See you next time on the Turnpike.